Modular XM Energy Lab, um, geared towards fuel cells, batteries, two capacitors, devices. So, scenario. Doesn't matter, this, this is a battery pack, but it could be a fuel cell stack. Essentially what we've got, in this case, is lots of batteries in series ganged up together to produce a powerful device. It could be a fuel cell stack, okay? It's just a demo module. The trick is, I've got one good cell connected and one bad cell connected. This is a real life, this is a real life situation that crops up all the time. Which one's the bad cell? Okay, let's, let's get modular to determine this. So what we're gonna do, what the system has, is it measures the impedance of the entire stack, but it has these auxiliary measurement channels here, a standard that allows you to measure the impedance of cells and devices within a stack. So it could be a battery module pack, or it could be a fuel cell. It's the same principle. Which one's the bad cell? Let's go make a measurement. I've already set up a project, so I'm just going to run that, and I'll explain what it's doing as we go through. So I'm just going to measure the, the impedance of uh, this stack. So there's two batteries connected in series in this case. And the first thing I'm going to say is, you can't see the numbers, but I'll tell you the numbers. The series resistance is three ohms. So for battery, that's, that's terrible. So somebody's not right with my module. Ah, what am I going to do? Well, it's just measuring the complete impedance of my module. I said, and we'll talk about this if you're interested later, what I've actually got is I've also got auxiliary voltage measurement points with inside the stack itself. So let's see what they show us. I'm just going to plot those. Ah, and if I plot the Nyquist plot as well, perhaps I think this will be familiar to <coughs> more of you. And I'll plot the... Uh, auxiliary channels <coughs> so the red line I'm going to say here this point here is the total impedance response of that stack if I now plot oh this cell here is giving me a series resistance of 2.5 ohms this cell here is giving me a series resistance in the order of 0.3 ohms so this cell here is good and this cell here is bad, but my total impedance response is the sum of those two measurements. So if I'm in a car shop, and the customer goes in and says, oh, well, I've got a problem, my battery's not working, and the battery engineer's got this huge weight stack, and he's thinking, I don't really want to change this module, this entire module. If I can change parts of the module, I can save myself a lot of money. Or you're a fuel cell engineer, and you only want to change one cell within the stack that's gone wrong, you have a measurement tool that can say, if I put auxiliary measurements on different parts of the stack, I'll find out which part of the stack has failed, pull out the one that has failed, replace it with a new component without having to take the whole system apart, take out the customer car, and do a full set of diagnostic tests. So it's a very simple tool to determine where and why your battery pack or the fuel cell pack has failed. 